guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Alexis Nicole and you're watching The Nurse Nook. This is going to be my first video and I just wanted to give a little bit of background information about me and who I am. So I'm currently a nursing student and I just finished my second semester of nursing school. And I'm actually enrolled in a concurrent program currently, which means that I'm in a BSN program as well as an ASN program. But they're, they coexist. I don't know what a better word to say it. I'm taking classes for my ASN as well as my BSN at the same time. And by the time I graduate, I will have two degrees in nursing. I wanted to make this channel because I know when I was applying to nursing school, I was having a lot of anxiety and stress and I just didn't know what to expect from nursing school, what it was going to be like, how to study, what I needed to bring to class. I had no idea. I would look up YouTube videos all the time, read articles, anything I could to really get an idea of what I was going to be expecting. So I decided to make this channel to be kind of like a one-stop shop for nursing students, pre-nursing students, people thinking about nursing, and hopefully you guys can come along with me on my journey to becoming a registered nurse. So my first video today is going to be the top five study tips to succeed in nursing school. If you have not heard before, let me just tell you right now that nursing school is hard. This is probably one of the hardest things you will ever do in your life, probably besides giving birth or something crazy like that. Nursing school is hard. They expect a lot out of you. They expect a ridiculous amount of hours out of you. Nursing school is going to be your top priority until you graduate, pretty much. So the best way to succeed in nursing school is to learn how to study. The tests are going to be really tricky and that's really what makes or breaks your career in nursing school is the test. But to relieve some of that anxiety, I want to help you guys out and give you my top five study tips that helped me through my first two semesters of nursing school. Let me just put a disclaimer out there that I am not a 4.0 student. I try my best, but listen, nobody's perfect. So let me just give you the tips that allow me to pass and succeed in my courses. So tip number one is to take concise notes. Your lectures are going to be between four or five hours, maybe even six hours sometimes, and there is no way that you can write word for word everything the professor is saying. There are some people that want to catch every single word they're saying, write down every little thing. That's not really what is going to help your nursing school. You have to learn how to be shorthanded with your notes, how to abbreviate everything, just quick, 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 boom, boom, boom. In nursing school, they love to go off on tangents, tell you about stories about when they were nurses in the hospital, blah, blah, blah. You don't need to write that stuff down. Write down what is going to be on the test and what is not going to be on the test. My professor specifically would tell us, this is important, this is going to be on the test. Start that, write an exclamation point next to it, done. And they'll even let you know, this is going to be on the test, this is just important for you to know. When I heard that, in my mind, I just exit out doesn't even exist. If it's not on the test, I don't want to know about it. Tip number two is to go over your notes at least three times each in a different way. What worked for me is the first time around, I would read through the PowerPoints. The second time around, I would write out all the slides. This worked for me because I'm a tactile learner, so I have to physically touch things, write things to be able to learn it. So I had to literally write out every slide, and this works amazing for me. I saw a dramatic increase in my grades when I started doing this. So if you learn how I learn, this might be great for you. I even used different colored pens. And if you want me to do a video on how I study and how I write my notes, let me know and I will do that. So the third time I go through my notes, I'll read them, read the notes that I wrote. So the first time I'll read the PowerPoint, the second time I'll write down the notes, and the third time I'll read the notes that I took. And it helps you to read through the notes as many times as you can. The more you read through it, the better off you are. So my tip number three is to listen to YouTube videos or lecture recordings, anything you have while you're driving. For me, I live an hour away from school. So that's an hour of time that I could be studying, but I am not because I'm driving. So what I learned to do is to listen to lectures online. Now, I found great videos on YouTube that were going over the same content that I was learning in class. So I was studying while I was driving. I was like studying for free, basically, if that makes sense, studying for free. 
So anyways, the important thing is to use your time wisely. If you're driving, cooking, folding clothes, whatever, you can be listening to a lecture in the background. My tip number four is to do at least 30 to 50 practice questions on each chapter or subject that you're learning. 50 questions may sound like a lot, but trust me, you need as much practice as you can get. I used to do probably more than 50 sometimes because I know that I need the practice. I'm not really too good at applying my knowledge. I'm so used to the memorization, the way we learned to memorize things for tests. And now in nursing school, we have to actually apply information. Like, what is that about? But questions, I cannot emphasize how important they are. Some of the best places to get study questions for are the Davis Success Series. Those are great. I recommend those. And also, my school has this thing called adaptive quizzing. I'm not sure if it's available to other schools. I, it might be. But if your school offers anything type of quiz thing online that you could get access to, I highly recommend buying that. Promise you, you will not regret it. Questions are the bomb. Tip number five is to form small study groups. I know you probably hear about it a lot. Oh, study groups are great in nursing school, but honestly, they are. For me personally, I can't use study groups to learn information. Like I couldn't do a study group every day to go over information. The way I do it is I have a group of two other friends and we meet two hours before every test we take. So for meeting at 10, we'll meet at eight in the morning. And for an hour and a half, we'll just go over any important topics from the test that um, we might not have thought were important and when we combined all our information we're like oh I didn't know that was important oh thanks for telling me that I didn't know that and it's it's only two hours but trust me on this you will be thankful for them I've gotten at least two to three questions right on every test by doing the study group that I would have gotten wrong if I didn't do the study group. So I'm so thankful for these people. Be careful because you don't want to do any more than three to four people because any more than that and it's just a party and you guys are just talking about what you're going to do for the weekend and nothing really gets done. They're also great for just relieving anxiety and talking about the test with each other knowing that you're not in this alone and your friends are experiencing the same thing you are. It's just great to me. I love it. I love my study group. Love you ladies. So those are my five study tips to succeed in nursing school. I hope you learned something from them. Thank you for watching. My next video is going to be about what I wish I knew before starting nursing school. So if you're interested in that, make sure to come back for my next video. Thank you guys.